guys what's up it's Queenie here welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video I hope you're all doing well as you can see from the title today we are going to be exploring or playing in some wigs or a wig today's hair is from a company that I've actually talked about before it's from Victoria's wigs or Victoria's wig I haven't tried it on yet I did co-wash it just to you know loosen it up and everything but I haven't tried it on but I wanted to see if I could install it nicely I have not try a curly bob ever I don't think so if you're interested in something like this keep watching and let's see how this goes let me just get it out of the box and show you guys what it comes with so the nice thing about this wig what I personally like is the actual kit that it comes with so it comes with the wig in this nice satin bag as most wigs usually do but the accessories that it comes with is very very like in my opinion high-end um, it's a very affordable wig but it still comes with really nice tools so it comes with this nice bag here that has everything everything so it has your uh, comb um, and it comes with a oh, what's this Oh my goodness, so you can hold your edges down. This is amazing. I've never seen this in a kit before. This is so, so nice. I really, really, really like this. Okay, and then it comes with a brush for your edges. Some really nice tweezers. Um, I think this is to flatten things out, I'm assuming. And a brush for your concealer. Like, even this bag alone is a bit of money. So, this is really good. And then it comes with two wig caps. A dark brown one and a tan one so you can choose which one you want to go with I'm gonna go with the dark brown all right so let's get into this wig I already co-washed it I'll show you guys a picture the curls were so beautiful and popped in so now that it's dry honestly it's been sitting for a little bit so I need to re-wet it so I can style it better so I'm just using a spray bottle to wet it and bring it back to life because this is the kind of style that I feel like looks best if it's a little bit wet or super, super defined. To prep my hair, I'm actually not going to do any cornrows. I'm going to slick this back really nicely and then we're going to put the wig on top of that. So if you do not know how to braid or if you want to be able to wear a wig without braiding, you actually don't have to, especially if it's a curly wig. You can just pull your hair back really nice and smooth. That's the nice thing about curly hair. You don't necessarily have to have it perfect under. Okay, so wig cap is on. You guys can see it looks pretty smooth. It doesn't look too crazy. We can definitely get this wig on top of it. So I'm going to switch into voiceover mode so you guys can really see what's going on. And I'll catch you guys at the end and we'll see how this wig is looking. Because right now, after refreshing it with some water, it looks so good. So let's see how it goes. All right, so of course, I'm just putting the wig on my head. I already cut off the lace in the front, so yeah, there's not much to explain with that. I just cut off as much as I could. This wig does come pre-plucked, so the front part of the lace is gradual and it fades back really nicely. So I'm gonna go in with my Got To Be Free Spray, and I'm just gonna spray my forehead very lightly. And I just like to spread it around and then let it dry a little bit. You can use a blow dryer or a fan or just let it sit till it gets a little bit tacky and then you can stick on the wig. And then I like to go in with a little bit more just so I can make sure it's secure on the top and make sure it's sticking down really nicely. So this is just a, a gentle, gentle stick. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Then of course I'm going in with my edge brush, which you also get in the kit in the box. And you can smooth down your edges, baby hairs, add a little bit of gel and swoop it back as much as you want or not at all. But all the tools come in the box, so that's really nice. Now I'm going in with my foundation brush with a little bit of powder, not too much, just to make sure it blends perfectly into my own natural hairline and then of course I'm going to work on the part so I'm taking the fine tooth comb that they put in the bag in the little box as well and I'm gonna part my hair as far back as I can this is a 13 by 6 inch frontal wig so I can part it pretty far back which is great makes it look more natural and then I'm gonna go in with my spray bottle this has water and a light leave-in conditioner so this helps moisturize my hair but also tame the curls and hold the curls because there's product in here you want to treat this like human hair because <laughs> it is human hair and curly hair needs a little bit of extra weight and product so I'm really just 
just getting it in there and making sure the product is affecting the curls and making it look nice and moisturized and yeah so there's quite a bit of product in there at this point now I'm going in with my mousse so this is going to set the hair so it's gonna flatten it and it's also going to hold the curls because it has a bit of a holding um, feel to it so everything's gonna be nice and flat and it's going to keep the curls in place so it doesn't frizz back up later in the day so you can kind of wear this wet look all day and the more mousse you put the more of the wet look you'll get so now I'm just trimming little hairs that need to be cut off and make it the right shape I want it to be kind of like an asymmetrical bob so a little shorter on my right side and a little longer on the left side so that's what I'm doing there I'm kind of making it slightly different if you guys can see all right so now I'm going to take the brush in the kit and use a concealer that's slightly lighter than my skin kind of like scalp color and brush that along the part you can use the tweezers that come in the bag as well and just tweeze and make it look nice and natural but just because I'm a little bit more of an on the go kind of wig wearer. This is just the easiest and fastest thing for me. So I personally like to use concealer and I feel like it kind of gives a pretty good effect. All right, so a few minutes later, the wig is on and looking really good. As you guys can see, I didn't pluck anything. All I did was cut off the lace in the front position it to the side I wanted it to, wet it with some water mixed with leave-in and that really made the curls come out and then I used some mousse to lay it down and to define the hair a little bit more and give it more of that like wet super defined look. So yeah I'm definitely really really happy with the way this turned out. This was probably the easiest wig I have ever put on. So that is basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I went on the website to look at the details of this hair so obviously this wig I'll put everything on the screen but this wig let me pull it up. This wig is called the Luna wig. It's an effortless bob wig, 250% density with a 13 by 6 lace front. So it goes up to like back here. And um, for this wig, for the length that I got, it comes to 143 US dollars, which I think is really good like the beauty supply store is selling wigs more expensive than that nowadays so i'm happy with that and it comes with all the stuff that you need so you don't have to go to the store and buy the wig cap and buy the comb and buy the tweezers to like make it look nice it comes with all of that so i think that's a really good deal so my natural girls this is approved for you and also if you don't even want to glue the wig down you don't have to you guys saw i use just got to be free spray but honestly you can just stick it on and go if you're comfortable with that there's combs there is um bands and everything adjustments to make it nice and secure on your head so you don't have to use all that but personally i like to use just a little bit of spray just to make sure this part is at least stuck down so yes i am very happy with this let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this is my first time wearing a curly bob so i like it it's really cute it's really really cute so comment down below let me know what you guys think make sure you check them out on instagram if you're more interested in other ways that they sell follow me on instagram as well all the details for this any coupon bonds and deals and everything will be in the description box. I have tried their weights before so I'm happy to say that second time is, is has been really good so I'm happy with that. I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Bye!